Group stuff, Sean, three, two, it's all you. Okay, so here's how my, I'm Sean Matthew Hammer, and my speech is gonna be a little interesting, okay? So I have these paper airplanes, and I'm gonna have volunteers choose either question or topic one or topic two, and then you guys are gonna choose one and throw it back at me. So just say one or two, uh, any volunteers? Please throw gently and do not hit someone in the face. That would be awesome. Whoa. Landon? Oh, beautiful. Ross, throw it back and forth. Anybody else? Brady, I guess. Make sure that it is the topic on the paper airplane, Brady. Let's back that up. All right, we'll start off with, you chose one? Yeah. All right, uh, tell me the number to throw it Two. Out. Woo! <laughs> oh. Okay. Two, my future. Okay, so my topic is my future. So I want to be an electrical engineer when I grow up, and I would like to have a family. I don't know if I'm gonna have one, but it would be really nice. Okay, I want to have like a decent job, and I want to like stay in this area because I kind of like my family, even though I don't act like it. But I would like to stay in this area. But Florida's pretty nice too. I'm gonna be honest. I love warm weather. But I plan on going to like CMU or that. Tech, uh, tech College up in Hancock, I can't remember the name of it. I don't know if you don't talk about It's an engineering college. Michigan Tech? Yeah, there you go. That Tech College? Okay. Yeah, I, you know what I meant. You it's know in what Michigan. Meant. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, that's, that's my future. And hopefully I don't go to jail. <laughs> yes, two. Number two? My favorite. So, it's just like my favorite. My favorite color is purple. I just, I love the purple. It's such a good color. Not the, not the light purple, that's like pink, and I just don't like pink, but dark purple, oh, that's just beautiful, I love it. So, my favorite animal is a wolf. I don't know why, but it's just a cool, they're cute, they're cool, and they travel in packs, so like, if they, they work together, and if they work together, they can take like anything down. And that's kind of like me, because I like working together, because I believe if you work together, you can do anything you possibly want. Uh, What's what the saying with the wolf? The strength of the wolf is the pack, and the strength of the pack is the wolf. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> My favorite movie, Guardians of the Galaxy. Okay, it's just amazing soundtrack, it's amazing plot. Just Soundtrack's everything. awesome. Yeah. Infinity War was pretty damn good too, though, I'm not gonna lie. Was, oh man, that was amazing. Um, my favorite song is probably Hey Ya by Outkast. I just love that song. It's, it's just so beautiful. And beautiful? I love it. Have you heard hey it? Hey Ya know? is beautiful. Hey ya. <laughs> One, two, three. Uh, I know. Yeah. I'm thinking, okay. I'd love to go to the art gallery with you and see what you look at to see what's beautiful. <laughs> Picasso. <laughs> so, so, on the topic of Marvel, I guess, well, since I'm at it, because that's like my favorite movie, Guns of the Galaxy, my favorite Marvel character is Venom. Like, because he's adorable. <laughs> he really is. If you look past the teeth and the darkness and like the, all that creepy stuff, he's actually really adorable. And he's like a parasite. All right, who else has a paper airplane? Okay. Two. <laughs> my youth. Okay. So I was born in Saginaw. I have never met my dad. He moved away. He was supposedly a druggie, and he's been to jail. So hopefully that doesn't reflect on my character. Uh, but anyways, I have I uh, I grew up in Saginaw. I went to Saginaw schools, and then I moved. I had many stepdads, like five of them. Uh, Saginaw, and then we moved to Midland schools, and I started going to Midland for a while, and then. I went to, sorry, no, I went to Freeland schools, and then they kicked me out of Freeland because I lived with my grandparents, and they didn't like me living with my grandparents for some reason. What? I don't know why. It was like, the guy was throwing a huge fit. The superintendent hated my grandparents, and he like somehow got me kicked out because we weren't in the same district as Freeland or something like that, which is really right. stupid, but somehow they got me kicked out, and I wasn't a very good kid when I was young. I'm gonna be honest with you. So I always got in fights with the bus driver and stuff like that, but he was, he was a, Sorry. Excuse my French. Um, anyways, uh, I went to Midland after Freeland, and I went there until third grade, and then I moved to Shepherd. So I've been here since third grade, and Shepherd's probably my favorite. And wait a minute, so they kicked you out of Freeland in second grade? Yeah. You were you the words you used? You were in second grade? Uh huh. Okay. I, I didn't actually say like, Denver. 
Yeah, you did. <laughs> do you really want me to go back to the camera? <laughs> yes, you did. But I'm like, no, 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 no. I meant when I was little. I, whenever I swore, my mom put Tabasco sauce on my tongue. Uh oh. And I used to say a lot of bad words, and I still do. <laughs> no. Okay, just check it. All right. My tumor. Okay, I don't know if you know this. I have a scar right here. You probably can't see it right here. Or back there. I had a some sort of cyst or something that apparently only older aged people get. Now, I don't know how I got it, but I noticed there was a lump in my ear. Like, this was years ago. Uh, five, six years ago. My parents were like, oh, it's nothing. We all have bumps on the back of our ears. I'm like, okay, sure, yeah. Okay. It was small at the time, so I didn't really think anything of it. I was younger. Uh, over time, I noticed it got bigger, and I was like, guys, are you sure people have bumps in their ear? Because, like, this thing's huge, and they look, and they're like, oh, that doesn't look very good. It was, like, probably, like, that big, just a bulge sticking in my, out of my ear right there. So, it was my freshman year. I missed the first week of school because of this. Apparently, I had this, this cyst, so I had to get it removed, and it was just the weirdest thing ever. I, I was in the hospital for... It was only a day, but I don't remember any of it because I was sleeping. I, I sure. love those drugs they put you on. It just <laughs> knocks you right out. I'm not a drug, drug addict. I'm just saying. Uh, anyways, they took it out, and I wanted to keep it, but they wouldn't let me. So I got that, and the food at the hospital was amazing. The first thing I, when I woke up, I was like, damn, I'm hungry. I want to eat. And my nurse was like, well, you can't eat. you got to wait because, you know, it's still draining and stuff like that. Like, Please, can I just kiss on me? And she's like, just wait, and we'll see what happens later. So finally, she lets me eat, and I just have this huge menu. I, I just crap ton of food I just ordered. They all bring it back up. I'm like feeling like a king, just all this food's on my bed. And I just chow down, and my like, this thing's like hurts really bad, the, sti the stitches. And it's like, I was starving. I didn't, I couldn't eat prior to it. I had to wake up at midnight to eat breakfast, and then I had to go back to sleep because you, know, you can't do the surgery on your stomach. Or something like that, whatever food in your body. So, yeah, that was a good time, I'm gonna be honest with you. And then the nurse thought it was a really good nurse. She, uh, I was always saying how hungry I was. So she put on the board, objective, or no, she said, how is the person, patient feeling and hungry? And then she put down, what is his plan today? Eat. <laughs> all right. Because nothing's come back, it's all gone, no problems. No, it, they said it could come back on the either side or come back on this side. Now, actually, that brings back for that reminds me. I have actually another thing. I noticed that it gets wet whenever I'm really hungry or eat. So like, whoa, 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 whoa. Come on, just just listen. Hear me out. So whenever I eat, and this is after my surgery, like year, year after that, I notice it gets moist whenever I like eat or I'm really hungry. Hold on, just listen. So I went to the doctor just a few weeks ago, and they're like, well, apparently some patients get whenever they're really hungry. For some reason, like the glands will like just open up, but it's like microscopic, and it'll just leak. So I'm I salivate right here on my neck. <laughs> and my parents are like, well, Sean, if we didn't think you were weird enough already, <laughs> so I salivate right here. Have you ever tried to feed it? <laughs> oh, well, that's a good idea. <laughs> I'd have to have like little microscopic plankton. I just like turn my beard. <laughs> so I think I got time to kill, right? Oh, uh, you're at eight forty-seven. Okay, I will. <laughs> I'm going to talk about my wisdom teeth because I, I love that. I want to talk about that. So I got my lot of wisdom teeth taken out. Okay, they. I still have them. I was going to bring them in, but I didn't want you guys to go. Oh, that's disgusting because they're a little bloody. So they smell. It smells like barbecue. Like if you get barbecue potato chips and you open up my little package and take a sniff of it, it smells like barbecue. I'm not lying. Okay, just hear me out. It sounds gross, but it, it smells like barbecue. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay, so they look like little like dehydrated like barbecue teeth. Like you can just like give it to you. Give it to your tumor, not to me. Okay. So I got my wisdom teeth removed. That was during the school year. I missed like a few days of that. And as you know, you're not allowed to drink from a straw because you can get them it'll they'll dry up back there and it'll like get infected or something like that. So uh, I could not drink from a straw. And I, it was just so painful and hard to eat. I had the stitches in there, and they were ones that like removed as time went on. So I am 
Game, they take my whiskey down. Obviously, I'm knocked out. Like I said, I love those drugs. Uh, so I wake up, and everything's just dizzy. I'm like, whoa, because everything's just like, I don't even know. So first thing I hear is crunching. My, my, my hearing was like enhanced. I heard crunching. And I couldn't see anything. I'm like, Mom? Are you eating combos without me? <laughs> Somehow I knew my mom was eating combos. And I was knocked out. I couldn't say anything. I was just thinking she was eating combos. And the, I was just really funny because you know how goofy you get after that gas. And I was like, hey guys, my mouth tastes like bugles. You know those little chips, those bugle chips? So I was just saying a whole bunch of weird stuff like that. So I had trouble like brushing my teeth and stuff. It was like hard with like, it just hurts so bad. I don't even know. Eventually the sticks came out and it was really weird. I'm in the middle school and like it's puffed up and I'm like, okay, no big deal. I didn't think of anything of it. This was after my surgery. And all of a sudden it puffs up and then all of a sudden, pop! I said, the, the, the thing in here pop and this gross goo was in my mouth. And I'm like, ew, this is disgusting! So I scream and I run down the hallway and drink it from it infected or something like that, and it popped in my mouth, and it tasted like shit. <laughs> Probably like toss. It was disgusting. And, yeah, my personality, I'm really open. I'll, I'll talk about anything that's on my mind. So I'm sorry if I'm disgusting you guys, but that's just the way I am. I'm just totally, I'm, I'm an extrovert. I'm really social. I, I know I'm shaking, but I don't really get stage fright. I can go on stage and just open, open up and whatever's on my mind. And I'm actually a really, really nice person if you get to know me. Now, you guys might think I'm an asshole. I'm an asshole, but I'm really not if you get to know me. And that's all I got for you guys, so thank you. Okay.